So, uh, Rachel, I was looking over these TPS reports and not really sure um, of all of these line items. Can you help me understand them a little bit better? Well, that one was for my hair. Okay. And that one was for my makeup. Right. And that was for... Well, do you need all of those things? I do. Yeah? I do. Okay, I mean, it obviously seems like it, it works, so... I mean, I guess I can understand that. Um, maybe we should talk about this later. Like, how? Um, I was actually, I need to uh, eat before I leave to go home, so I was just thinking maybe we could just go over these numbers, um, I don't know, around the corner at Houlihan's? I guess. Okay, great. Is that, is that okay? I mean, you know, I don't want everybody to think something. No, 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 it's just, uh, you know, it's just we need to spend some time just kind of going over these things, and uh, I'll be able to expense it. It's a business dinner, and uh, we can kind of go over um, maybe where you see yourself going in the next couple of years at this position. I'd really like to hear more about uh, how you feel you can contribute to work. I think I can contribute a lot. Yeah? Yeah. I'd really love to hear it. I think that was pretty tame. That wasn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> so what we were talking about was how to flirt at work. And this can be something that some people have a lot of different opinions on. Some people will say, don't do it ever because it can create weird dynamics and, and can go, if it goes bad, it can go really bad. Really bad. However, it's one of the prime ways that people in, are meeting other people. You spend most of your time at work, so it's really natural that you're going to be attracted to people in your workplace and you're going to flirt with them. Now in that situation, you're the boss, which is kind of weird uh, because there could be rules against Main boss, thing, find out what your HR policy is on this because some things are absolutely, absolutely against and if they yeah. find out about it, you can lose your job. In other yeah. places, like especially the creatives, much more matter. low key. It doesn't matter. And I liked how we showed an example of where it didn't go over the line. So this isn't sexual harassment. When you're flirting at work, it's about seeing where the line is. It's about seeing if they're interested. So asking them to grab a drink or grab dinner can be normal. For a real, for a real legitimate reason Business too. Business reason. And throwing a little flirtation in there, you know, having a little touch mm -hmm. or having some really intense eye contact. Not super intense, but right. really paying attention and letting them know that you're interested in those subtle ways can break that barrier because you don't want to go full force in a world. So everyone, I think, especially, you know, attractive young women have, has had a lascivious boss that could be like, uh, really like to, you know, I'm having a party at my place later tonight. You should really come by. It's yeah, just, it's, it's not creepy. good. It's, it's horrible. So um, letting them know that you're interested and then offering to see them outside of the workplace is the biggest thing. Yeah. You don't want to be at work at the water cooler oh being gosh. like, hey. yeah, did you see uh, Breaking Bad last night? Uh, why is he touching me? And that's when lawsuits can happen. Yeah. So if in doubt, uh, go on the underside of it. Absolutely. And keep it on the down low because Absolutely. the worst thing you could do is make out an it's office It's nobody's party. business but your own don't what's happening between party. the two of you. So yes, don't don't tell your work friends about it, don't brag about it. Keep it something special between the two of you. Mm -hmm.